In this video, we're going to import Alpha Vantage stock price data into Airtable. We're going to use that to build a stock portfolio tracker and track the value of our investments. The first thing we need to do is to go to Airtable, go to the App Marketplace and install the Data Fetcher app. Once you've done that, you'll be prompted to create a free Data Fetcher account or you can sign in to your existing one. We're going to use Data Fetcher with the Alpha Vantage API, which provide free APIs for stocks, forex, and cryptocurrencies. So you need to go over to Alpha Vantage and get a free API key. So fill out the form. and you'll get a free API key that you can use with the Alpha Vantage API. So take a note of that, we're going to use it in a second. Then go back to Airtable, close the Data Fetcher app, and we're just going to set up our base. So you can see here I've got a stocks table. I've changed the primary field to ticker rather than name, and I've entered the stock tickers of some of the stocks that I want to track. So then open up the Data Fetcher app again, Click Create Request, give your request a name of Fetch Stock Prices, and then we can see from the Alpha Vantage API documentation that we need to enter this URL into Data Fetcher. So we're going to use the quote endpoint, which will give us the latest price for the stock. And we're going to use the API key that we got in the previous step. And then for the symbol, you want to create a reference to our table here. So you can click this small button on the right hand side of the field, select the stocks table, select the ticker field and click confirm. So we can see that that's created this reference here. And when we've run the request, that's going to be replaced by the actual tickers in our table. So set the output table to the stocks table by clicking use current. Set the output view by clicking use current again. Then scroll down and open the advanced settings. Where it says run on multiple records, you want to click use current to set the stocks table and use current to select the grid view. So this just means that we're going to run a different request for each different ticker in our table. Scroll down to where it says rate limit. Alpha Vantage for free, um, for free accounts has a rate limit of five requests a second a minute. So we're gonna have to do this quite slowly to not hit that rate limit. Um, and Data Fetch will add a delay so that we don't exceed their rate limits. If you upgrade to a paid Alpha Vantage account, then you can increase this rate limit and run requests more frequently. So finally click run. You can toggle this to hide this warning in the future. And you can see that we get a modal that opens with some of the different fields that come back from Alta Vantage. So if you click show response, you can see what these different fields mean. So click Filter All to remove all the fields. Then select this Global Quote 5 price. Change the data type to Currency. And change the Create Field input to Price. Then also select this Latest Trading Day. Change the data type to Date. And change the field to Last Updated. Then click Confirm. Data Fetcher is going to create two fields for us, the price and the last updated one. And then it's going to run the request for each record in our stocks table. Now this is quite slow because Data Fetcher is making sure we don't go over the rate limit for Alpha Vantage. So it's going to add a delay of 12 seconds to each request.
Finally click save to save the request. Close the data fetcher app and we can see that the price of each stock has been pulled into our table. So let's create the portfolio part of our tracker. So create a new table called portfolio, change the primary field to ID, we'll type auto number. You can delete the other fields that Airtable creates by default. Then create a new field called stock and link it to the stocks table. Then create a new field called balance, we'll type number. This is going to be the number of shares that you own. Then create a new field called price and use a lookup field. Then finally create a new field called value. This is going to be a formula field and we're going to use the formula of price times balance. For formatting, we're going to use currency. And now we can add the stock holdings that we have. So if we own one Netflix share, five Microsoft shares, and two Amazon shares, we can see that the value of all our holdings is shown in the value column and the sum of all our holdings is shown at the bottom here. So at the moment we need to manually update these prices by clicking on the run button here like we did before. But we can set this to run automatically for us so that we don't have to do this. So scroll down to the schedule section in Data Fetcher and you might need to upgrade your account uh, to a paid Data Fetcher account in order to enable this. You can turn on scheduling and then select every day and choose which days you want this to update and the time when you want it to update. And then once you've done that, click Save again. 